Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. First session of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly began today. Sharingan Longoma unanimously elected as Speaker. Speaker Sharingan Longoma calls upon MLAs to make contributions by raising concerns of public importance. Chief Minister Nipirio says each MLA is committed to serving the people to achieve peace and development. And Nagaland government says provision relating to tax on land and building in the Nagaland Municipal Act 2001 has been removed since 2016. Now the news in detail. The week-long first session of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly began today. On the commencement of the first day of the session, Pro Dem Speaker Martin Yantan congratulated the members for successfully getting elected to the 14th NLA. He also acknowledged the two women legislators and added that it is historic that the House is privileged to have two women legislators. In a rare occasion, the Pro Dem Speaker led the House in observing a minute silence in vocation as an expression of gratitude to the Almighty. The Pro Dem Speaker administered the oath and affirmation to the newly elected members. The members of the House also paid homage to former NLA member Dr. Imti Wapang Ayer, who passed away on 7 January 2023. MLA Sharingan Nongaba was unanimously elected as the Speaker of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Tomorrow, Governor La Kanesan will deliver his maiden address to the House. Discussion on a motion of thanks on the Governor's address will be taken up on Thursday. Chief Minister and in charge of finance, Nipirio, will present the state budget for the year 2023-24 on March 27. The session will conclude on 28 March. Speaker of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly, Sharingen Longama, has called upon the members of the new House to participate and make contributions by raising concerns of public importance in the greater interest of democracy. He asserted that the fundamentals and essence in a parliamentary democracy is to protect people's mandated government that addresses the most pertinent issues of public concern through discussions, deliberations and decision in the greater interest of its people. Addressing the House after being elected unanimously as the Speaker today, Longama congratulated and extended warm welcome to both the new and returning members to the August House. He said it is historic that Nagaland Legislative Assembly for the first time is having two women members and has 29 new members and 31 returnee members. He expressed his gratitude to all the members led by Nipirio, leader of the House, for electing him unopposed to serve as the Speaker for the second term. The newly elected Speaker assured that it would be his endeavour to prioritise and strengthen the various Assembly Committees of the Assembly on strict compliance to the rules established to bring about a robust system of transparency and accountability in governance. Further, Longoma sought the support of the Chief Secretary and the Civil Administration in discharging his duties. Nagaland Chief Minister and Leader of the House in the Assembly, Nipirio, said each member of Nagaland Legislative Assembly is committed to serving the people to achieve peace and development in the state. Speaking at the first session of the Assembly, Rio congratulated the members on being elected to the 14th NLA. Congratulating Sharingan Longoma on being elected unopposed to the post of Speaker, Rio said that responsibility is being placed on the Speaker to steer and assist the State Assembly and guide the government for legislation and implementation of programs. Rio added that with his qualification and experience, Longoma will be able to discharge the functions of the Speaker in a commendable and honourable manner. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. In a special series, All India Radio brings you excerpts from the Prime Minister's Monkey Bart. People, voice, and direct dialogue. That's your and our Monkey Bart. Yes, this is how our Prime Minister connects with millions of countrymen with the program Monkey Bart aired on the last Sunday of every month on All India Radio. This series, which started on October 3rd, 2014, 
will complete its 100th episode in April 2023. Northeastern region of India is rich in nature's bounty as well as its own distinct culture. And yet, since long, it has nursed a grievance of feeling isolated, feeling isolated and away from the path of progress. The first to look into their problems was the government of Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee. And the Narendra Modi-led government took a step further in the same direction. The winds of change have swept across the northeast and development is visible in every sphere. In Man Ki Baat episode broadcast on 26 July 2015, Prime Minister spoke about how important it is to ensure growth and development in the northeast. When Atal Bihari Vajpayee was the Prime Minister, he was a donor minister of the development of North East region. After our government, we have done a great donor department in our donor department. Is it going to happen in North East? And everyone has done it. That the team of the government of the North East will go to the North East region, North East region, Nagaland, Manipur, Arunachal, Tripura, Assam, Sikkim. And we will go to the camp for seven days. जिलों में जाएंगे, गांवों में जाएंगे, वहाँ के स्थानीय सरकार के अधिकारियों से मिलेंगे, जनप्रतिनिधियों से बातें करेंगे, नागरिकों से बातें करेंगे। This special Monkey Bat series can be heard every day in the morning and evening bulletins. Nagaland government said that a provision relating to tax on land and building of the Nagaland Municipal Act 2001 has been removed since 2016 through the Third Amendment of Nagaland Municipal Act. In a press release, Principal Secretary of Municipal Affairs Department I. Himato Zimomi said the amendment of the Section 120 1A states that all references on operative provisions relating to tax on land and buildings wherever these occur in the Nagaland Municipal Act 2001 shall be deemed to have been deleted. Zumomi also clarified that the request of some organizations to replace the word omitted has been duly substituted with deleted. On suggestions of nominating women in urban local bodies with voting rights instead of 33% women's reservation of wards, the Principal Secretary said the Supreme Court in its judgment on 22nd February 2022 had categorically struck down this submission as something naturally not acceptable. With regard to reservations for women chairpersons, Zumomi said women's reservation of chairpersons of the ULPs was amended to bring about fair play based on the alphabetical order of the ULPs. The principal secretary requested voters of the ULPs to wholeheartedly participate in the forthcoming elections scheduled for 16th May. World Oral Health Day 2023 was observed today under the theme Be Proud of Your Mouth. On the occasion, Director Dental, Health and Family Welfare Department, Dr. Tayev Prezo Kimiao emphasized on oral health for overall health. Speaking as the special guest at a function organized at Chetema Village under Gohima District, Dr. Kimiao encouraged school children and others to look after oral health by maintaining consistent oral hygiene. During the program, visiting dentists from the NOHP division screened a total of 70 students from GMS Chetema and Holy Cross School Chetema. The students were also given oral health kits along with brushing calendar. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sidharaman has said that the total amount of central government debt or liabilities is estimated at about 155.8 lakh crore rupees as on 31st March 2023. It is 57.3% of the GDP. Sidharaman told Lok Sabha today that out of this, external debt value that current exchange rate is estimated at 7.03 lakh crore rupees and it is 2.6% of the GDP. On the question whether the external debt of the country has become heavily burdened due to the steep appreciation of the US dollar in recent times against the Indian rupee, she replied that the share of external debt is only about 4.5% of the total debt or liabilities of the central government and less than 3% of GDP. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. 
first session of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly begins today. Sharinkan Longkamer unanimously elected as Speaker. Speaker Sharinkan Longkamer calls upon MLAs to make contributions by raising concerns of public importance. Chief Minister Nipiru says each MLA is committed to serving the people to achieve peace and development. And Nagaland government says provision relating to tax on land and building in the Nagaland Municipal Act 2001 has been removed since 2016. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.